Hello and welcome. In this lecture video, I'll be covering present value of a single amount and then also doing some additional practice problems. Okay, so on the prior page, we calculated the, the future value of a single amount right over here using this table, using the table, the future value table. Now, I want to look at a slightly different question or a different question. And this one is asking us to calculate the present value. And how do I know that? So let's look at this problem. If you want $1,000 at the end of three years, so that is the future value. That's what that's telling you. What would you have to invest now asking for present value? How much would you have to invest right now to have $1,000 at the end of three years, assuming you earn 10% per year? That's what this problem is asking. So if we look over here, here's our present value formula. And so if we look in the table, what all we have to do really to simplify this, we could use this formula, but I'm going to look in the table. Okay, I'm going to look in the present value of a single amount table to solve this problem. Just, just simplifies things. Now, in the table, it shows me the present value factors. Just like in the future value table, it showed me the factors for future value. The present value table shows me the present value factors. How did we get to the present value factors? Well, the present value factor is going to be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus i to the n power. It will be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus i to the n power. So I'm going to show you the factor and then do the problem, and then I'm also going to show you how to derive that factor that's in the table using Microsoft Excel. So in this problem, it's three years, so the number of periods, and you can see I'm looking present in present value of a single dollar, one dollar, table B.1, three periods, and remember it was 10%. So this is my factor, 0.7513 is my factor. So all I have to do in this situation to figure out the present value is multiply the future value 1000 times my factor 0.7513 which we just got and then that gives me my present value $751.30 now let's look at how we how we can derive this factor in the table how did we how did they get to this factor well it's one this factor is derived by taking one divided by one plus i to the n power that's how that factor was derived and so we look over here at microsoft excel you can see here's my one thousand dollar future value ten percent three periods here's my factor i took one divided by point one one plus Point 0.1 right over here, sorry, to the third power, and then that's my factor, and then I multiplied my factor times my $1,000 future value to give me my 751.31 present value, okay? So that's how we derive those factors. Now, on the test, I'm not going to say derive the factors, but I think it's, on the test, what I will give you are those tables, but I think it's important to make sure you understand how those factors are calculated in the tables and it's just one plus i to the n power okay so let's look at a slightly different problem it says how long will it take an investment of twenty five thousand dollars at six percent compounded every year to accumulate to a total of thirty five thousand four sixty two fifty so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my formula Future value equals present value times 1 plus i to the n power. Okay? Now, in this case, I'm given the future value and I'm given the present value. But what I want to know is n, the number of periods. And I'm going to use my tables to solve this problem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take fv divided by pv equals 1 plus i to the n. Now remember, that is my factor. That's my factor. Remember, 1 plus i to the n is the factor that's in the table. 
So what I can do in this problem is take my 35, 462.5 divided by my 25,000, and that gives me my 1.4185. This is my factor. And so what I can do is I can look in 6% column and locate the factor. And then find number periods. Okay? So let's do that. Let's do that right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my future value of a single amount table, table B.2, is I'm going to find 6% because we are told the interest rate was 6%. And then I'm going to look for that factor. There it is, 1.4185. And then I look across six periods. Now, this six periods, is this per month? Is this per year? Or was the compounding every six months? Was it semi-annually? Well, let's take a look. The problem says right there that it's compounded annually. So when I found periods equals six, that means six years. Okay, six years. So it takes six years. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause the lecture video, and I want you to do this problem right over here. I want you to do this problem, and then I want you to do this problem, and then we'll come back and check your work, okay? Okay, so let's say, see how you did. So we have future value equals present value times 1 plus i to the n power, just like we did up here. Our future value right here, here's our our present value, 5,000. This is our future value. And when we do the division, we get 3.1058. We look in the future value at 12%, and then we locate this factor of 3.1058. We look across, and it's 10 periods. Because it's annual, that means it's 10 years. We do something similar over here is we do the same thing, future value equals present value times one plus i to the n. We take our future value right over here. Here's our present value. This gives us our factor. We look in the future value of a single amount table and we find four periods and then we look up and then we get 8% is the interest rate. And give me a second and I'm going to show you that. So you can see right here, here's the factor. At four periods, look up. That's the interest rate. Okay. And then in the next problem, we're asked to calculate the present value. It says a company needs to have the $200,000 in four years, create a fund to ensure that the $200,000 will be available. If they earn 7%, how much do they need to invest now to get to that $200,000? So we can use the table again. But this time we need to use the present value table because the problem is asking for you to calculate the present value. How do we know that? Because it says, how much do you, do you have to invest in the fund today? That key word, how, that key phrase, how much do you have to invest, invest in the fund today is telling you, you need to calculate the present value. So we're looking at 7% for periods, 7% four periods, there's our factor, 0.7629. And then all we have to do, there's our factor, multiply the future value times the, fa the present value factor. This is how much you need to put in now to make sure you have $200,000 at the end of four years, assuming you earn 7% return, okay? So I'm gonna stop this lecture video now the next lecture video will cover present value and future value of, annu of annuities.